I, I don't know how much your mother told you about my work. Um, she, nothing. It's just that you have a delusional belief in an advanced society of tiny people living in the woods. Or something? <laughs> well, these little guys are a big part of the ecosystem, the engine, if you will, and I will prove it. Here. You have bat sounds on your iPod? But I was trying to identify the frequencies that draw bats to gather with their own kind. And guess what I heard? <sighs> Voices. <laughs> yes! Isn't that cool? Okay, if tiny men are flying around in the forest, how come I've never seen them? You know what? Just because you haven't seen something doesn't mean it's not there. Hey, this is Al McGee. I am the film critic for Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. The film I'm going to talk about is called Epic. Yeah, E-P-I-C. Epic. Hey, this is an animated film. That means they started this film about five, six, or four, three, two years ago. So it's finally coming out. Mm. This is directed by Chris Wedge and written by James Hart and William Joyce. This is an original film. And it stars, you know, their voices, Colin Farrell, Josh Hutchison, Beyonce Noyles, Pitt Bull, Amanda Sidfried. Steven Tyler and Christoph Waltz and Aziz Azari. Now, remember, this is called epic. So what do we expect? Something grand, wonderful, right? Oh, you're going to be totally disappointed when you see that part. Well, this is a story about leaf men. Yes, leaf men. L-E-A-F, leaf they're protecting the forest. They have a queen, you know, and the queen, you know, she helps things to grow and the forest to have life. But, of course, this is a film. They have the Boggins. They're rat-like creatures. They destroy the forest. They like decay. They uh, want to destroy the leafmen and their community. They want everything to be dead and oh, and just so gray and things like that. Ooh. Well, I got disappointed in the first film, the first part of this film, because the leafman was supposed to protect their queen. And what happened? She gets killed. Yes. She dies. They didn't do a good job in that. So how good are the uh, the, the Leafman soldiers? And of course, you know, you got one soldier in there. Oh, I don't want to be a soldier. He's a major part of the story. Oh, I don't want to do this. I'm going to do something else. Find myself. Oh, is that the best you've got? Oh, how is that? Better. Nah. You know I like you. Yeah, I like you too, Mr. Buffo. And yet, you don't do what we agreed. It's called teamwork. Maybe if you understood uh. that, the Leafmen wouldn't have kicked you out. They did not kick me out. I quit. <laughs> I admire your independent spirit, Nod. I miss that. <sighs> Feed them to something. A snake would be good. Nah, snakes just swallow you whole. Now, if you put them in a hornet's nest, that's a show. Ah, oh, look, it's Ronan, defender of the weak. Pooper of parties, here to ruin the fun. I didn't ruin all of it. I let you hit him. Twice? Hop along now, little froggy. Easy, Ronan. It's a big forest out there. Even leaf men gotta sleep. Uh, the other part of the story is too, there's a human, male human. He's detected these small creatures, but he couldn't see them. He'd been, you know, trying to find them for years and years and years. And he has a 17-year-old daughter. Now, his wife, her mother, died. And now she comes to live with her father. But her father really didn't have time for her. And, oh, woe is me, woe is me, my dad. He doesn't have time for me. What? He's going nuts. In fact, he ran his wife away. And she finally died because he was on, in his own world trying to find these small creatures. Then all of a sudden, 
she gets pulled in into this world and realized that he was on to something. He was telling the truth. Oh, but where's the epic of this film? Well, I found this story wasn't that sensational. It wasn't that epic. Uh, the You know, I saw this in 3D. So I say the drawing the animation is very good. It really is. But the storyline is weak. The There's a lot of other little stories in this story, but they're, they didn't make any sense to me. I, I didn't enjoy them at all. Also, you know, the Leaf Men in real life got to worry more about the humans destroying the, the forest than more so the bargains. I got to get this two palm trees because it really wasn't that interesting, especially with the story. The animation, yes. And, you know, when you hear the voices of Beyonce and Kristoff and Pitbull, the characters really didn't fit their voices, the animated characters that they drew for them. So just two palm trees for me, I'll me get your entertainment ticket. Hey, I appreciate you that you're watching this review. Thank you very much. Where are we? It's where this guy lives. Most stompers just come and go, but this guy's relentless. Wait, stompers? Yeah. You know, like us, but big and dumb and slow, always stomping on things. <laughs> He's my dad. I'm a stomper. What happened? You got shrunk? Yes! Seriously? It's been a weird day for everybody. <sighs> We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Rocky TV.com.